Hey, welcome to the show. I'm the Crypto Kid, and in these videos, we take a look at Bitcoin and everything that's going on in the world of cryptocurrency. So if you're new to the show, welcome. We make daily videos and keep it relevant to what's going on in the news. And if you're joining us again, welcome back. Let's jump right in because we've got a pretty exciting video today. Let's start off by taking a look at Bitcoin Cash. And as you can see, we've had a pretty exciting run up here this morning just in the last half an hour or so, surpassing that $2,500 mark. And there's a lot of action happening here, lots of volume, and it, things are looking pretty good. Now, as you can see here, over the last 12 hours, we are seeming to be up on a nice little upward trend. And hopefully this will continue because we have been waiting for this and it appears as though it is here where the price should continue, but it's anyone's guess where this will go. Now on the other side of the coin, Bitcoin Core has broken through that $15,000 mark where we were yesterday, but it appears the new ceiling appears to be at around 16000 uh, having yet to really break through that mark. So we'll have to keep an eye on this, but as you can see in the news, things are looking pretty good. Bitcoin Cash up around 7.5%. Core looking at 11%. Ethereum seems to have leveled out a bit over the last 24 hours after they've had a pretty substantial growth period over the last seven days. And Ripple, well, they've seemed to have broken through as well because after that incredible run they've had, a lot of the spotlight was on them. And it appears as though we're retracing a bit away from those high marks, currently at around $3, which again is seriously impressive. But we'll have to continue to watch this. Uh, because there seems to be some back and forth happening with the market, as it typically tends to do. Now let's jump over to Twitter. I posted this story last night. Pretty cool story coming out of Bitcoin.com. Now what this is all about, it's talking about using more environmentally friendly approaches to mining, specifically a company in Canada here that's looking to harness wind power to mine Bitcoin. Now they're doing this out of Romania. They've picked up some wind parks there. Uh, now this, com this company here, they are called... Uh, Trans Eastern Power Trust. Okay, now they're based out of Toronto, Ontario in Canada, and they're looking to continue this trend by picking up some more properties out in Europe. Um, but more specifically, there's a region here which encompasses Romania, Bulgaria, and Ukraine. And it's pretty interesting to see this happening because there is a lot of talk with mining. And again, like I mentioned, the uh, more not so environmentally friendly approaches, not so sustainable. I'm talking about uh, non-renewable resources, quite dirty energy like coal happening a lot in China to to uh, to mine this this Bitcoin. So again, this company is looking to mine around 30 Bitcoin a day, uh, and they're looking to to do other cryptocurrencies. So hopefully Bitcoin Cash, but but a lot of different cryptocurrencies is the talk over there. So we believe we are or we will be the pioneers of a new and robust business model, switching from a utility company to a vertically integrated cryptocurrency mining operation. So this is pretty exciting. Um, and again, the article talks here about all the opportunities that really this brings. You know, we're talking about the winds in Romania, Dutch waves, whether you're talking about turbine technology, but not only that. Um, geysers and solar technology. There's a lot of opportunity here all around the world, especially in areas like the Netherlands, which they mention as well. So this is pretty exciting. And in my opinion, uh, I'd love to see more of this green friendly mining. Um, and it's really cool to see this article coming out of Bitcoin.com. So I'll leave a link if you want to further investigate that. Otherwise, the big news has been on Twitter about Bitcoin and the payment systems. So Visa looks like they've pulled the plug for all of these companies and they are just sitting there without any warning. So this is what I mean. Earlier today, uh, the company Wavecrest announced to its clients that they have been warned by B Visa to immediately cease operations. So a lot of talk and, and uh, spotlight was on BitPay, um, but keep in mind this is a much bigger issue. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So what we have is BitPay coming out today saying that BitPay card is no longer available on our European card issuer Wave Crest Holdings. Learn more to see what's going on. Well, let's do that. Basically, what's happened is Visa um, has really stepped in. Now, yesterday, our European BitPay card issuer Wave Crest Holding received direction from Visa to immediately close all accounts of its prepaid Visa debit card programs. Now, luckily, apparently a lot of these funds will be returned. Now it says here that they will be looking to work with Wavecrest to get your money back. But this is exactly what we try to talk about on this show is trusted third parties. Now, this is exactly a perfect example of what happens when you can uh, trust these people to be responsible for your money and then all of a sudden snap, it's gone and you don't have access to use it 
or any of the funds that were there. So can you imagine, um, I know there's a lot of comments where people were traveling and they used this technology uh, exclusively. And now, you know, they're stuck without any funds in a, in a foreign country. So it's, it's a really serious thing and I'm not making light of this. Um, but keep in mind, this is only for European users. Um, and potentially anyone outside of the USA. So now if you're in the US, uh, rest assured that it will still work. Now this is a company here, uh, Wavecrest, and they have a lot of clients. So let's take a look at some other cards that are issued here. Bitwalla, they're saying the same thing on behalf of Euro uh, Visa Europe. They've pulled the plug, so to speak. Um, 10X, another company here. And CryptoPay, I mean, the list goes on. Now if you hop over to Bitcoin.com, they, they had a, lot of um, a large list here of of wallets, uh, or I should say cards that you could use depending on what country you're from. Uh, pretty cool tool here, but if you look at the bottom of these pages, so let's jump over to say uh, WireX right at the bottom of their page here. You can see that uh, Visa prepaid card issued by Wavecrest Holdings. So now it's interesting because this technology, Wavecrest, was really, um, you know, they had a lot of companies because they were. And if you look at their site here, licensed as a principal member with both MasterCard and Visa. Now, that was a huge uh, green light for a lot of companies that were going directly to them. Uh, so, again, this is an ongoing story, and we'll have to check this out. But, again, if you're in the U.S., don't worry. You should be fine with BitPay at least. Um, but, if yeah, if you're in the U.K., this is or any part of Europe, I should say, or outside of the UK, something that you'll want to check out. And again, I will continue to post more of this on Twitter, so if you want to head over there. But again, you know, any business should look at this almost as an opportunity because when there's waves like this, this is really the time to jump in. Now, I know that there was talk with Bitcoin.com creating their Bitcoin cash card, and in my opinion, this could be very good. I don't know what you know anything about what's happening on that end, uh, but it's it's really interesting to see this happening before this was released. So hopefully this will give Bitcoin.com some time to uh, to really harness this and uh, and get release the card with in a positive light, uh, where potentially coming into the market where all their all their core cards are really just uh, not available at the time. So this again will be very interesting to see, and like always, we will continue to monitor this. Uh, but check us out on Twitter if you want. I'm over here at Crypto Kid. Um, and we will continue to follow what's going on with Bitcoin Cash because clearly there's a lot happening. So I've got another video coming out later today if you're interested looking at Bitcoin Cash versus Core, specifically what's happening currently in the news. So check that out. It should be coming out in a little bit. So thanks again for watching and we will surely see you in the next one.